creating a manually scheduled task is fairly straightforward. Set the task mode to manually scheduled, name the task, and fill in the information you have. Task bars for manually scheduled tasks change their appearance to indicate which values you've entered. In this project it's set up so that new tasks are set as manually scheduled. So all we have to do is create a new task. In this case I'm going to name it Pack Office. I can see I've got the task mode indicator with a push pin so it's manually scheduled and the question mark says that there's information that you still have to fill in. Let's say it starts on May 15th. So I type that date in and now you can see the end cap is in the time scale. Let's say your colleague, Marco, is going to estimate the duration so you can write yourself a note. Put that in the duration field. While the task bar doesn't change because you've just written yourself a note, but a few days later when Marco gets back to you and says that it's going to be two weeks, you can select the duration cell, type in the two weeks, and now you've got a two week long task bar in the time scale. You can also see that it shows a dark cap at the end because you got a start and a finish date. By giving the task and start date and a duration, project can figure out when it's going to finish. One of the things, because it is a manually scheduled task, the task bar is teal. If it were auto-scheduled it would be a blue color. The other thing is the question mark goes away because now you have all three fields. Well. There's another look for manually scheduled tasks and that's when a task has a duration, but no dates. So let's create another new task and in this case I'm going to type 3D in the duration cell and that's for 3 days and you can see there's a task bar and it is 3 days long, but the ends are kind of blurred out and that's the sign that there are no dates assigned to this task. What project is to put in the time scale is basically it starts sit at the project start date. So that's May 7th. With manually scheduled tasks you can fill in partial or complete information. It's easy to see whether you need to provide more info for a task by looking at the task mode indicator and the task bar. Creating an auto scheduled task is simple. You set the task mode if necessary. Name the task and fill in a few values. So let's create a new task in this schedule. Click a blank cell, type the task name, move to new office. Let's set up as manually scheduled so I click the task mode cell, click the down arrow, and choose auto schedule. You can see the indicator changes. Now I have got a task bar in the time scale. You might wonder how project figures out where to put the task in the time scale. Well this task is actually a subtask under the repairing week. So it uses the start date of the summary task. You'll also notice that the duration cell is filled in with one day with a question mark. Well that's the project's way of telling you that it put in an estimated duration and you need to put in your estimate for how long the task is going to take. So just click the cell, type in your estimated duration and press enter. And you can see that the question mark goes away. In addition, because we've changed it to 5 days, the task bar now shows 5 days. If you're going to set up a project that's auto-scheduled, you don't have to change every single task. Just go down to the status bar and click the new task entry and then choose auto-scheduled. That means all new tasks will come in automatically as auto-scheduled. So for example, let's say I insert a new task. I right-click this task and then choose insert task on the shortcut menu. And you can see the new task comes in and sure enough the task mode is auto-scheduled. You'll see auto-scheduled tasks really shine after you link them with other tasks and assign resources to them. A project can have both a manually scheduled and auto-scheduled tasks. You can tell project which mode you want to use for new tasks at any time. You can also switch the task mode for existing tasks. To change the task mode for new tasks on the fly, head down to the status bar. You can see here new tasks are set up to be manually scheduled. I can click that and choose auto scheduled and now a new task will come in auto scheduled. So for example, I'll create a new task. You can see that it has the auto scheduled icon in the task mode column. Well, 
There's another way to change the setting for new tasks and that's in the project options dialog box. So go to the file tab and click options, then go to the schedule category. We'll scroll down a little bit to the scheduling options for this project section and you can see, new tasks created and it's set to auto scheduled which is the same as what's in the status bar. The advantage to changing this setting here is that you can choose to apply it only to the active project or to all new projects. To do that, click the down arrow in the heading, in this case, if you choose the project name, it's just the active project, or you choose all new projects and it'll set new tasks to be created in that task mode for every new project you create. Now I'll click OK to close the project options dialog box. Now, the other thing you can do is, you can change the mode of a task once it exists. In this view we have the entry table and it has the task mode column but the schedule table and the summary table also have the task mode column so you can change it in any one of those, or you can insert the task mode column in any table you want. But to change the mode, just click the cell, click the down arrow, and choose the mode that you want. So go ahead and set the mode that you typically use, after that you can switch modes whenever you need to for one task or all new tasks.